Hello all you programmers and welcome to your 52nd chapter in the Java EE7 tutorial series. So what we'll be covering here today is interceptors. So we'll be going over an overview of inter interceptors, using interceptors, and to wrap it up, let's take an example of interceptors. So what are interceptors? Interceptors are really useful if you want to do some data collecting while a program is running. Their uses range from auditing, uh, logging, and profiling. An interceptor can either be defined as a method, an interceptor method, or as a whole class, interceptor classes. Interceptor classes and methods are defined using metadata annotations or in the deployment descriptor of the application that contains the interceptors and target classes. So to use interceptors, all you got to do is um, tell the, put them around your method over here. So this is an intercept method interceptor, which is put around this timeout interceptor method. To use a class interceptor, you would use the at interceptors annotation and put in the class of your interceptor class. Notice how you can use it multiple times, where you can put like multiple of these classes. And there's so many more types, so let's de see them in the example. So let's go into our NetBeans and go ahead and open our project. And let us navigate to our, um, your examples, EJB. And let's click on interceptor. So um, you will quickly realize that this example, once we go ahead and run it, let's see how it does. And all you got to do is right click it and click run. Make sure that you select your Glassfish server. Oh yeah, make sure that your Glassfish server is running first of all. And um, what, uh, what this is doing is you can type in, let's say your name, Viprov. And realize that the V in the Viprov is capitalized. If we click submit, you'll find that the V in Viprov over here is decapitalized. Which means that if you go back and let's put them all in capital, this becomes decapitalized again. So what's happening over here is if you get go into your source packages, go into here, you will see that this is our hello interceptor. So this intercepts our message. So let's go ahead and open this up. And what it does is it uses the around invoke interception. And what happens is it takes in and uh, like it intercepts the message. It turns everything in a message into a uh, lowercase and then sends it back. And that's it. That's all there is about this tutorial. This was really quick. It's just a little overview of what Java EE interceptors do. And in the next tutorial, we'll be talking about batch processing and how they can be executed without user interactions. So I'll see you in the next video.